What's up guys, it's me, Wombat, coming to you live from the Blast Zone. Today, we're gonna be doing a review of this Lost Longinus 9 Spiral. Now this is the first left spin burst Beyblade to have been released. And it's also the first one to include metal in the layer. These dragon heads are made of metal. So it was a pretty heavily anticipated release. So let's get right around to the parts. Up first is this uh, Lost Longinus layer. Um, it was the heaviest layer. I think the official weight was 15.3 grams, and I think Sea Geek Scalibur now outweighs it. Six, it's it's either I'm not sure if Legend Spriggan also outweighs it, but those two are also pretty heavy. Um, but either way, being super heavy in the left spin means that it's it's really difficult to burst by most normal methods uh, because most things are right spin and when they collide they will push each other along rather than hitting it backwards and unscrewing the layer meaning that it being left spin on its own makes it harder to burst the heavy weight of L2 also makes it harder to burst so it actually found um, some use in KO attack for in like Lost Longinus, Heavy, Spread, Extreme, stuff like that. But th those were generally pretty easy to neutralize with a weak launch and even opponents that aren't too difficult to KO like Odin and Death Scyther on Revolve were able to just neutralize that with a weak launch. Um, some people thought it was okay though. And but what um the first combo I developed with this was Lost Longinus Spread Hold, and as Life After Death th Death discs have been improving since then, um the best combo for this is Lost Longinus Two Glaive or Four Glaive Hold. It's super heavy left spin mobile defense spin stealing. There's a video I made on how to launch it. And I will link that in the description again, even though I just linked it in the Beast Behemoth video. But basically, since it's left spin, hold will stay upright for a long time. It's got a super low center of gravity and it's really heavy. So that makes it good at spin stealing. And it's also mobile and heavier than most right spin attackers. Except, well, I mean, not heavier than Sea Excalibur or Legend Spriggan now, but it was heavier than all right spin attackers up until that point. So it just definitely had a weight advantage. It's a balance type that's like some attack, some mobile defense, some spin stealing stamina. And it actually kind of bursts a lot in same spin matchups from my experience. But uh, when I used it against Drain Fafnir, it bursted quite a bit. But overall, really solid layer. Unfortunately, this or some other recolor is the only way to obtain it at this point which is kind of bad for reasons I'll explain in a few minutes. So the disc is 9. Um, like 9 with the letter N, not the number 9 like it would be if it was a core disc. Which makes me think there's not actually going to be a 9 core disc. Maybe a 10. There's definitely going to be a 3, but I don't know about a 10. Um, it has 9 blades that face counterclockwise when it spins. Unfortunately, these blades are kind of useless because layer to disc contact is rare, they don't actually do anything. Um, they're actually like pointed downwards at an odd angle, so like, if you launch it at too steep of an angle, it'll scrape. Um, its stamina is pretty bad, it's just not a very good disc. Like, I've only used mine a handful of times, like there's barely any paint chipped off it, so it's really not a good disc, not worth using. And then the driver's spiral, which is basically uh, left flat from Medio El Drago. Um, it's a really bad part, uh, it's got a really large surface area, and which makes it hard to control, aggressive. And you can't keep the slag shoot pattern with it. Um, the spikes on it also 
mean it has awful stamina and is bad at tornado stalling. So it's worse than I guess Assault or Excel or Sephir or Iron would be for any kind of stalling attack use. It's a bad driver. So overall, um, Lost Longinus is a great part. It's a must buy still in my opinion. Um, nine and Spiral are kind of worthless. But uh, it also comes with a left spin string launcher, which I believe is the only way to obtain it so far, unless it gets like a solo release later on. Um, so if only for those reasons, I would recommend buying this Beyblade. It's a must buy because of Lost Longinus, the layer, and the launcher. Um, yeah, aside from that, the only way I see this are recolors of this, which are more expensive and might look cooler, but this will be the best way to get Lost Longinus. So up next is not quite the God Layers, because there were actually a few releases after this, even though this was like the main antagonist. So. I'll be back with those in the next episode, and I'll see you then.